But first, we want to focus on both fitness and reaching life goals by meeting a woman who embraces her own health and she's using it to help others. She epitomizes the word inspiration. Cindy Norris is making a 4,000 mile trek across the country by bicycle, raising money to help a cause near and dear to her heart. The journey begins in Anacortes, Washington and ends in Delaware. Talk about commitment. Once she made up her mind that this is what she wanted to do, she hasn't wavered a bit. I caught up with her here in Reno. Cycling has become a way of life for Cindy Norris. She didn't come to it until she was in her 60s. Two years ago, I took a look in the mirror and I didn't like what I saw and I thought, you know what, you can make a change and you can, do, you can change this and this is not going to be your story. So I got an old rickety bicycle out of my shed and I started riding to work, which was seven miles. It took her some time to work up to seven miles. And then I just like got hooked on this because I thought, if I can do this, I can do anything. And all that riding gave her time to think about life gone by and what lies ahead. When I was a little girl, I made a promise to myself. And the promise was that someday, somehow, I would do something magnificent. I didn't know what, when, or how. But when I was riding my bike, it just hit me like a lightning strike that you know what, you're running out of time. You've got the health, you've got everything you need. Why not use this love of cycling to make a difference in the world and do something to help people? And she's been unwavering in her commitment ever since. Commitment to the cycling and to her cause. My husband is a 100% disabled Green Beret and my son did three years in the war on terror in Iraq and Afghanistan. And they saw the soldiers that didn't come home. Their stories of children who had lost parents in the military hit home for Cindy and gave her focus to find her magnificent project. My goal is to raise money for children of fallen special operations warriors. That's the primary goal. I have a real desire to help these children. She turned her cycling into a fundraiser for them. Her family became her professional support team. I'm the logistical support. I'm gonna be going along behind her, making sure she gets to the right places. I'll be setting up, tearing down, coordinating down the road. She's invested in the right saddle, enclosed gears, and a bike that's sturdy yet light enough to lift. And talk about training. Yesterday, just for example, I, I rode down to Carson City and I had 30, 40 mile an hour headwinds and I climbed every hill I could find. So I rode 52 miles with the headwinds and then I also climbed 4,000 feet, which was, I was pretty proud of that. <laughs> and she's doing that on a daily basis now, well on her way. It's an adventure, you know, we're setting a record, we're raising money, but it's also a lifetime experience. She hopes to raise $100,000 for scholarships and help for the children. And if riding 4,000 miles wasn't a great enough achievement. Icing on the cake, I'll also get the Guinness World Record of being the oldest woman to do this. As of right now, she's on the Montana border. That's 500 miles into the ride and going strong. And you know what? If you want to follow her journey online, just go to cycleforthekids.net. You can also offer her financial support there in reaching her goal and setting that record. She's got a great Facebook as well. Check out her Facebook page.